Okay guys, in this video, you're going to learn how to test a stove or an electric range infinite switch. The top five reasons that you would receive a call like this or the problems or symptoms that you're looking for is number one, a switch will not turn on. Uh, number two, switch will not turn off. The switch only works on high or low. The indicator light stays on or the surface burner is not heating to the correct temperature. Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to learn how to troubleshoot and test infinite switches in electric stoves. There are usually two common types. One has a black dot, which indicates a six inch burner, where the other one has a red dot which indicates an 8 inch burner. Let's learn how to troubleshoot and test these infinite switches. Make sure guys before you test any appliances that they're unplugged and you practice all safety rules and precautions. And, and always remember when you're about to use your meter always test the meter first to ensure that it's working or you're going to get a false reading. With the infinite switch in the off position, you want to test L1 and P. That indicates the indicator light. It should be open. You should not get a, any ohms of resistance or a beep. Then the next one you test is L1 and H1. Same thing. Should be open in the off position. Then the next one you'll test is L2 and H2. That should be open in the off position. Then turn the switch on. With the switch on, we're going to test L1 and P, and we should have continuity, which we do. Then we're going to test L1 and H1, and we should have continuity, which we do. And then last but not least, we're going to test L2 and H2. Now I wanted to go a step further and show you a good indicator of a bad switch even before you actually test it. You guys can see right here that switch has that real dark burn look. There's a good indicator that this is a bad switch even before you test it. I just tested this switch and within the on position the L1 and P had continuity. The L1 and H1 had continuity, but not the L2 and H2, which makes this a bad switch. This is a clean new switch, as you can see. So again, when you see that burn look, good indicator is bad. Test that one first. Thanks again, guys, for watching one of my videos. Don't forget the top five reasons you would change an infinite switch. Also, don't forget to like us and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are interested in being your own boss or starting a small business, residential appliance repair is super easy and also super lucrative. Don't forget to visit our website, cornerstoneappliancetrainingcourse.com. And as always, be blessed and be encouraged.